Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Risk Global Domination where we are trying to... I think the map actually said it was Central America but if it, is it just me or... Including Canada in Central America seems a little bit excessive. <laughs> I understand though Northern South America but really then it should just like be Northern... not Southern North America. Arguably is just this. But you know what I mean, like the like the southern United States, like up to there to me. Maybe we could have made an argument this was still Central America, but either way, it is our turn. And you going up there will lead for 7th of defense. Let's take you up to 8, so that both of these are going to be defended with an 8. And everybody else into Cuba. From Cuba to the Bahamas. Fair trade, fair trade. You know, it's not really. The odds were a lot more in my favour that I would just yeah, finish that off completely. But let's carry on up north. If this went well, I was actually going to suggest I'll look into is it worth wiping purple out this turn? You know, four cards, it would be worth it. But... With eight troops, I cannot take out a six, a four, and a two. And I would have to take out another two just to get up there. Never mind losing the the four that I would need to lose. Yeah, I can't do it. Unfortunately, it would be brilliant if I could, but I can't. So instead, we'll move on to the fortify phase. Uh, get our troops up in Massachusetts. And we're all set for a trade next turn, but most likely both purple and blue are going to do that as well this turn, so... Well, it's next turn for us, but it's this turn now. And I... If I was green, right now I would finish off purple. I would dump all my troops into sort of like the Louisiana area and just go east. Doesn't look like the AI is going to do that. The, idea, the reason I would do that is because you can then trade and most likely, you know, you've got a card, they've got four, you're going to have five, so you're going to be able to trade this turn, you know, not in the usual uh, deployment phase. And then you can use them troops to defend your borders and you use your original troops for the aggressive attack. Yeah, unfortunately, you traded, which means now killing you would only get me one troop. So hopefully you're going to go north out of my way. I was going to say maybe even take away one of the continental bonuses, but if you just want to have all your troops die, that's fine with me too. Uh, blue, you do have nowhere with any troops, so you could be dumping them anywhere. Okay. And you also trade it. Uh, whoa, green has got really lucky with these dice. I mean, thanks to this 17, I, I do have... Oh no, I would have had, before my uh, deployment phase, I would have had an equal number of troops to green. <clears throat> However, from this point onwards, I have to expand my borders from free. Uh, if I was to move on further here, then yeah, there's free provinces and there's not really a choke point there, or at least, I guess once I'm at free here, that choke point, I think... This is a choke point. Again, I'm not used to this map, so I don't really know what provinces connect. Yeah, you know, I'd be able to just flood in the back of this and have them free there defended. Uh, border of free to here. And on this side, this would only take it to two. To two. And from that point on, it would be to three. But that three could then be moved to three. From that free to this free to this free and that would be it. I don't think I can see an easy way from there to expand it without expanding the line. 
But because that allows me to go to two first, it means I can keep reasonably large defenses. I also have to trade. Okay. <laughs> In that case... I'll take the troops in Kuba just because they're nearby. And I'm actually close to the point where... Ah. I was going to say I'm close to the point where I could go for all three of them, or a free position starting, but I don't think that is the case. Actually, no. I can take away that bonus and get my free here. Or maybe even here. Before deciding where you're going, let's actually take the land we need to take. Because the dice can hate you. Thank you! About bloody time! Okay, it actually ended up being a fair trade, but you know, as I literally said, the dice could hate you, I got two completely negative rolls. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to Arcadia... Acadia? No, Acadia's up there. Let's dump off eight troops over here. Yeah, which basically puts that theoretically, if I was to... In fact, I will do I'm going to play this one round safe. And what we will do instead of pushing it because I have managed to get to the free and basically have eight in both places. So my borders are still defended by eights. In fact, a nine there where it's closer to the bonus. Yeah, all my bonuses are defended, all three of them, and all three of them are defended by land which isn't in the bonus area itself. So worst case scenario, they then have, you know, an extra one guy fall back. Maybe I should have just killed purple. <laughs> Anyone going to finish purple off? It doesn't look like it. Purple, put your troops in and go south. Come on. Take a province, go south. You know you want to. Eh, not exactly what I wanted, but I think we know the play now. Purple has three cards. <laughs> I have three cards. Three plus three is six, which means if I kill purple, I get a second turn of deployment. Uh, and I don't, ha I only have a, a six trade at the moment, so hopefully with purple's cards, I hold off. I should be able to get a better deal. And I'm going to throw caution to the wind and not leave any defenses in Florida. Come on, green. I don't even really want to kill you yet. Because I need to make sure. And as long as I do that, I should get at least... Well, I know I've got six to trade and one of them's red. So that's an extra bonus too. But I'm only going to, to pick where I put six. But I could at least get to seven to the defense in Florida. Even if all you have is more horses. Again, you heard a dun No suspense. Your audio timing is terrible and you should feel ashamed, developers. <laughs> After all that, I still didn't actually get any... anything better than six. Either way, trade in. I'm going to put these troops down here. I maybe should have put them up north because I've just realized I don't think I know how I'm going to get the border there. It's probably going to have to be a you know, land defense instead. Let's go to attack. We'll push yellow out of Mexico. 
because I can do that without injuring my defenses too much. Okay, maybe not. We're going to leave a single piece of yellow down here. I guess that's good in case I want to finish them off. And what I'm probably going to do here is run into Green's region. And depending on how many I have left at the end of this, just fortify back to Florida. Ah, that, was, that seemed expensive. I wish there was a thing that said like, oh, by the way, you lost X amount of troops. Like a, a summary screen. Yeah, no one's getting any bonuses. I have... Ooh. 52... I have more troops than anyone else. And I'm gaining more troops than anyone else. Uh, to the 45 phase, bring the troops back. And my bonuses are well protected. Yellow, what are you going to do? You three really need to work together. Hmm. Actually. I'm just thinking about what I'm going to do. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, lay out in the comments what your plans would be if you was in my position right now. And I'm going to let you know that my plan is for there to be only one more episode in this little mini-series. And if I don't win before the end of that episode, so the uh, yeah the timer as usual, the boo hiss will go off and it'll actually mean something. It'll mean I've lost. Yeah, I'm not going to say how many turns, because it's however many I can get out in the time, but yeah. Uh, join me next time for the conclusionary part of uh, this, my second game of Risk on the channel. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, as always, I'd like to thank you for watching, but unfortunately I'm going to have to say goodbye. Goodbye. Did I get it right that time? <laughs>